saviors of the new earth rising up activating ascending through this great ascension portal many higher dimensional waves coming in today over the last 24 hours high frequency cosmic waves from the great central sun today as i was preparing for this transmission walela the hummingbird flew up to her feeder outside the window and sang loudly to me as the sun was setting the golden rays coming through the window, the beautiful songs of the birds, our winged nations singing the codes of the new earth. And with the power of our mighty I Am Presence, together we are co-creating the new heaven, the new Jerusalem, the new Eden of eternal bliss consciousness and with these crazy intense energies all day my right foot has been tingling and feeling like it's when your limb is waking up from sleep i've received an activation yesterday in my right ankle out in nature in the woods which was connected to this chiron energy and the achilles heel and the soul the portals at the bottom of the feet our feet are being activated as we connect deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama. Gaia is activating us through our meridians, through our acupuncture points, and through our portals in the palms, the feet, the soles of the feet, three dantians in the crown, the Bai Hui, the Hoi Yin, all being activated now as the rainbow bridge is fully open, fully activated. Today is a 444 portal also encoded with the 144 as our crystalline dna is being activated and codes coming through with the rapture energies and our christian brothers and sisters of the light a potential rapture date april 21st this is encoded in prophecy many visions dreams and to those that are new to the channel rapture symbolizes to me the new age the new earth code of what we call the event which is the quantum shift of consciousness from homo luminous to homo sapien we are in the event energies we are being raptured this is part of the ascension process that we're being prepared for physically mentally emotionally and spiritually with these daily activations and higher codes frequencies light language and the many synchronicities that we're all experiencing every day now now, I generally don't like to give dates for big events such as the rapture event because no one knows the exact time or date of the rapture of this quantum leap into Christ consciousness. But dates, think of dates as anchor points in the space-time continuum that we put our awareness into to anchor into and rise up through. And no matter what happens on these dates, it is always best to live your bliss, live your passion, and live from your heart. For this is what creates the eternal bliss consciousness, heaven on earth. Now we all know that these energies are ramping up, everything is amping up, preparing us for this great event, for this rapture, for this ascension, this great awakening, whatever name you want to give to this great shift that we're living through and manifesting into through the power of our mighty I Am Presence and our infinite potential, our infinite creative potential, through the power of our mind, our intent, and our chi, our life force, our energy, we put into what we want to see, what we want to feel, what we want to experience on this new paradise, new Eden, what we could call the perfected realm. This is the realm of living our perfection, for it is with the power of my mighty I am presence that I fill my world with perfection this day and every day. For I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am nature, I am the Tao, I am one with source, infinitely expanding creator source, the great mystery. For remember the great spirit wants all of her children to prosper, not to just survive, but to thrive 
we all have the potential. There is a genius within every living being that in most people lies dormant until activated either consciously or by a supernatural event. But in time, all beings will be activated into this Christ consciousness, cosmic consciousness. For ultimately, we are all one. We come from the same source, and we live from that source, the I Am Presence. Regardless if one is aware of it or not, that pure awareness is within every living being. For like the great Zen masters will say, all beings are born perfectly awakened Buddhas. But that pure awareness, that perfection is converted through the construct of the matrix, through the programming, through the projection of false ideologies, false beliefs, the pure, innocent, divine awareness gets converted to the three hells, the hungry ghost, the frightened animal, and the angry demon. And this is not good, bad, right, or wrong. It just is. But it is up to us to transcend, to transmute, these frequencies of the false projections into that which is true, our true nature, our true self, which is eternal bliss in a conscious state. And now, because of all the beautiful comments and feedbacks about our simple introduction mantra with the flute, and inspire my queen, my sacred condor and I to, in the future, create sacred mantras and beautiful music for all of you. So we will be saving up for what is called a harmonium. A harmonium is like a organ or piano. It is called a reed organ. It's an instrument that has a beautiful sound and what is called kirtan. Kirtan is like the gathering to sing mantra, to praise, and make beautiful sound, beautiful music together. So if you'd like to contribute to our Harmonium Fund, they're about $400 on eBay. You can make a donation with the PayPal link in the description or make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. If you're on our Patreon, you could listen to my sacred condor's angelic voice with a song she recorded called Spirit Made. So once we... Get this instrument, start recording. We'll upload these for free on YouTube to our channels, Paul Butler and, and Prime Disclosure. Or if you have a harmonium you'd like to donate to our work and cause, our mission, you can send it to our mailbox, P.O. Box 123, Brush Prairie, Washington, 98606. And then eventually we'd like to put together an album of sacred music and divine mantras for all of you. Okay, now with these higher dimensional frequencies coming in, we had on the Schumann charts a blast of light, 29 hertz. This is part of the 1111 gateway that is opening. Quick update from Divine Sister of the Light, S.A. Smith. The energy tunnel continues to roll on, bringing in more and more energies. These larger energies are continuing to roll in consistently. There are big things happening all over the place, big energetic changes. You are stepping into you. Rest, hydrate, eat what calls. All the answers to everything are right inside of you. You just have to tap in. Light workers, this is your time. Much love and light from a girl in the universe. And over the last 24 hours, we had 141 M1.5 or greater earthquakes. 141 on the 414. The most powerful today, 5.7 in the Galapagos Triple Junction. This is just north of the equator, west of the Galapagos Islands of Ecuador. And this was at 433 UTC, 1.861 latitude. 100.994 longitude. Earlier today, we had an activation on the Ring of Fire, Japan 44, Puerto Rico with the Divine Masculine Energies 3.0, Chile, South America, in the Andes Mountains, Kundalini Pachamama 3.6, Guam, also on the Ring of Fire, 4.6, Anchor Point, Alaska, and the Crown of Lemuria. 3.2, Indonesia 5.1, Okinawa, Japan 4.7, Afghanistan and the Sacred Portal, the Three 
holy mountains Tian Shan, Celestial Mountain Kunlun, and Himalayan, 4.3, and a 4.3 in Japan, Ishi no Maki, that is creating the 77, the 77 portal together, the sacred 77. Indonesia 5.5, five, five, fifth dimensional energy activation, Philippines 4.8. 12, the Divine Goddess, Puerto Rico, another activation, 3-5, Mexico, 4.1, Nicaragua, Central America, the home of our Mayan people, 4.6, Tonga on the Ring of Fire, 5.0, another 3.1 activation, Puerto Rico, New Atlantis Energy, Taiwan, Ring of Fire, 4.3, right on the Tropic of Cancer, another 4-4 activation in Taiwan, Divine 44, fourth density into the fifth, 1111 coming in. We had a activation in Pampa, Texas, 4.3. Fiji on the Ring of Fire, 4.4. Four. Another 44. We had triple 4.4, four, creating the 888 portal, 607 kilometers depth, very deep into Pachamama. Again today, the Ring of Fire with these divine Shakti fire energies coming in to help us transmute and transcend the lower densities, the false projections of the false matrix into the divine matrix, the divine holy waters of the divine feminine Christos energy, the Magdalene energy, Shakti. We are also day two of Navratri, which we'll cover in today's transmissions. And be sure to stick around to the very end. We have a very powerful activating divine decree the very end of today's transmissions. So stick around to the very end. 1212, flowing in the third portal to my sacred condor. Now today with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 27 degrees, 51 minutes Taurus. The sun is at 25 degrees, 21 minutes Aries. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 28 degrees Taurus. A mature woman reawakened to romance. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 26 degrees Aries, a man possessed of more gifts than he can hold. Astrologyweekly.com This is a symbol of abundance, divine abundance, and symbolic of our cup runneth over. And now my sacred condor pulled another card for you from this powerful deck, Forest of Enchantment from Lunea Weatherstone. And today, again, we get a powerful card. This one flew out of the deck twice. It came out the other day as a clarification, but this is synchronic with the power today, and it's the first card of the deck, card zero, the white heart. So we have two cards today, and we'll start with the white heart. At the edge of the deep forest stands an invitation to enchantment. When you see a pure white deer, you are being called to follow it, and only the foolish would ignore such a beckoning, and yet it takes trust to enter the forest, to explore the unknown and the uncharted. Mysteries await you according to what your soul needs for its journey. There are surprises around every bend in the woodland path, and often there is no path at all. The white heart opens a portal into the wild, and your own wild heart responds. Step forward through the swirling mist into the realm of apple and oak, ash and hawthorn, fir and willow, holly and hazel. There may be companions along the way and adversaries too. The first step into the forest must be taken on your own. The traditional name for this mysterious card that is numbered zero is the fool, and it symbolizes the start of a new adventure that is undertaken with a pure and innocent heart. The pun here is intended. Follow your heart. Heart, H-A-R-T and H-E-R-T. Meaning at a glance, a new beginning, accepting the invitation, going forward with trust. The journey begins. Follow your instincts. A closer look, the trees that are named in the description are shown in the card. Clockwise from the left, each has a magical meaning. Apple, the other world. Oak, endurance. Ash, action. Hawthorn, protection. Fir, perspective. Willow, intuition. Holly, challenge. And hazel, wisdom. And the second card that came out of the tarot deck is card 18, Moonlight. Who dares to go into the forest when the moon is full? Who would follow the luminous paths to the gazing pool? The forest is a different place by moonlight. 
What is familiar by day becomes illusory when the moon is full. The sounds of the night are airy, haunting, filling you with nameless longing. Moonbeams sift down through the branches, silvering the sylvan glade. Hares go mad in the moonlight. Wild with lunatic ecstasy, they dance and leap, then suddenly stand motionless, frozen, bewitched. They return to themselves when the dawn breaks most of the time. It is said that those who sleep in the moonlight either go mad or become poets. The poet Byron wrote, There is a dangerous silence in that hour, a stillness which leaves room for the full soul to open all itself without the power of calling wholly back its self-control. Perhaps our lives are but a dream, and we are all as mad as moon hears. Even the most pragmatic cannot deny the magic of the night. When moonlight shines upon your reading, take it as a sign to let intuition rule over logic for a time. Pay attention to your dreams, which may be full of portents. Spend time outside in the dark with no intention other than to be open to the mystery, meaning at a glance, secrecy and mystery, the dream world, intuition, something is hidden from view. Closer look, how many hearers do you see in this card? Today from Divine Brostar of the Huna Nation, Malta Taki, 1234-1234, energy from the seed of light. We are experiencing on multiple dimensions the solar, moon, photon, and plasma energies this month, bringing mystical gifts through from the stargates. I managed to hold out through a pounding headache these past days. So grateful for the new intel that just landed. Looking forward to sharing this news with you this coming weekend. So stay sharp and smile. Got new global Wi-Fi preparing to travel through gates very soon. Stargate number one. Honu Motu Lemurian New Year from HOH.Earth And today from Isis Chandlings, the Kundalini Rainbow Bridge of Durga Sekhmet Kali Gateway. Earth Kundalini reaches second gate on day two of Navratri Gateway. The Kundalini Gateway of the Sekhmet Durga Aries New Moon, 12th of April to Scorpio Kali Full Moon about which I have spoken in earlier posts, can be divided into two segments. 1. Navratris, 13 through 21 April, rising earth kundalini energy to establish the connection of earth to heaven, for Gaia using our individual kundalini circuits and the energy of sacred sites, portals, that is, the Giza pyramids and others as a channel. Number two, the 21st through the 27th of April, there's the 21 code, 421. Cosmic Kundalini forces to descend down this Kundalini rainbow bridge to enter a new phase of connection between us, Earth energies, and cosmic energies for the establishment of a new age. And there, brothers and sisters of the light, is the symbolism of reaching into heaven, ascending to heaven, and bringing that energy into Earth, the heavenly cosmic energy into the earthly physical realm, the non-physical into the physical, emptiness into the form. This rerouting of the kundalini forces that began on the Sun-Venus conjunction March 26 will reach its culmination on the Scorpio full moon of April 27. I will be bringing a special transmission on this date. The Navratri gateway is one of purification and detoxification of mind, body, and soul, a necessary foundation so that the rainbow bridge that we are building to the cosmic forces, earth, kundalini, our individual kundalini plus sacred sites, energies, may provide the highest pathway for the cosmic energies, kundalini, guidance to anchor into our physical vessel, Gaia and her sacred sites for a brand new foundation for a brand new, new age. Day one of Navratri saw the activation of the Kundalini at the base root chakra, and today on day two, April 14, it rises up to the second womb, sacral Varistana chakra. This chakra is held by the goddess Ma Brahmacharini, who we worship on the second day of the Navratri. The bija sound for the chakras is Vam, which removes attachments, blocks at the sacral. Ma Brahmacharini is an ascetic form of Parvati, who represents all the mantras and the creation. She is the symbol of all knowledge, wisdom, love, 
loyalty, grit, determination, motivation, tolerance, austerity, sacrifice, and perseverance, aspect of Maha Sarasvati from the Trinity and is depicted in a white sari holding a rosary. Radraksha is in her right hand and Kamandula, water pot, in her left. White represents purity of mind. Beaded rosary represents continuous efforts, meditation, and concentration. Kamandal represents release from the egoistic desires that keep one chained to the illusion of the material world. Water in it represents pure thoughts and bliss that is achieved via union of self with the divine that is nectar of moksha, or bliss of enlightenment. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. Sake na from isischannelings.wordpress.com Today from Divine Sister of the Light Celia Fenn. Okay, people, something is up. The energy is deeply weird and wired today. The general consensus is feelings of weird and wobbly to dysfunctional as powerful energies are incoming. People report feeling floaty and out of it. I felt wobbly this morning when I had to go out to run errands. The body is in a process of alignment with very powerful galactic energies, whether Mayan or Andromedan or Pleiadian or all of the above. As we move into the pre-Taurus season, time is flipping. Time travelers are working overtime, especially at night with intense dreams as the earth is being aligned for a very powerful shift. It's coming. Here we go. When I asked Mikael what it was, all I got in response was a huge tone of energy sweeping across the galaxy. Sure feels like a huge wave of angelic sound creating waves of change and new forms. Today from Divine Sister of the Light Kali Salvatore, Kingdom of Light message. Dear group, the central sun of our galaxy has released a very great photon energy which will reach the earth this week. There will be many people who will feel these symptoms of this energy. For those who are awake, the symptoms will be much more positive. They will feel a change in the inner. For those who sleep, they will not understand what is happening to them. For you who are awake, prepare yourself with meditation and positive thinking and try to do benevolent things for other people and stay positive. There is something in the Milky Way that is firing cosmic rays with unthinkable energy more powerful than any particle accelerator ever built or known. What is this? With a very powerful telescope that we have built very high up in Tibet, we are trying to study these bursts of energy to understand where they come from and what causes them. These rays are composed of streams of protons and other atomic debris, which when interacted with any interstellar gas triggers nuclear reactions that produce the flashes we are watching. Namaste. So this is connected to the solar flash, this event energy that's flowing in, this rapture energy from the golden city at the great central sun in the center of the multiverse. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Sophia Grace. This is the Great Awakening. We are all gods pretending to be human beings here on planet Earth in the 3D. The nature of this realm is one of duality, yin and yang, or let me rephrase that and say, it has been for a very, very long time. What is duality? Duality is the illusion of light and dark, good and bad, right and wrong. It means living inside the illusion of seemingly opposites. I say seeming because none of it was real in the traditional sense. Our experience of these opposites in this life, however, seemed very real. But before you were born into this body, the one you wear now, you existed way before that. As a matter of fact, your soul is eternal. None of us are this body we wear, this name we have, or this political party we think we belong to. These are just labels and disguises we wear to hide our true essence. When we die and pass over to the other side of the veil, or go to heaven, we remember all this. We remember that we have had many experiences before this life and will have many more after. The universe is an enormous place, but your soul is infinite. This is the everlasting life spoke of in the scriptures. We are living in amazing times. Some may look around and only see anger and chaos. And this is the natural way of things. It always seems darkest right before the dawn. We are dawning now as we speak. The light has returned to our planet after a 26,000 year journey through darkness. 
This is called the procession of the equinox, and the light has returned whether any of us like it or not. Can dark stop light from shining? No, it always shines, and if there is a time we go through the dark, the light always comes back, it always returns. Darkness cannot stop light, but light will drive out darkness. This is nature. We live in a symbiotic universe. Our universe operates on cycles as we do when we sleep and wake up every 24 hours, or as our planet does and rotates once a day. Our planet also revolves around the sun, our solar system revolves around our Milky Way galaxy, etc. We live in a very vast universe. Can you believe they had us so distracted we forgot this? From our 3D experience, it did seem dark for a night. It was our dark night of the soul. But the light is back and we are waking up again. If you are religious, you can find this prophecy in the book of Revelation in your Bible. I learned most of my lessons through the Christian paradigm, so I do draw from that experience as reference naturally. But there are infinite versions of the same story throughout history. I apologize I am not as well versed on all religions as I am Christianity, but as with all of us, this is simply how I learned. Every story you heard was symbolism of what is occurring as we speak. The stories were much more symbolic as well as moral. But these times have been prophesied and known by ancients all over the world for a very, very long time. The dark has tried to hide this from us, and they were allowed to do so by universal law. But those times have now ended. This is the new beginning. Light has returned, and we are waking up to the light. In nature, light is something we awaken to, not fall asleep or stay asleep to. We awaken from the dark to the light. We do this every morning as a matter of fact. Our enormous universe operates the same way on cycles. The light that is here now is up to us to awaken to it. We still must choose this because we were given free will by Creator. It may seem unexpected, but the dark likes to use our free will as a tool against us because in it lies our human nature. They attempt to use our desire to stay comfortable and asleep and to try to delay the inevitable. When we just allow ourselves to wake up and not seek to choose against this, we truly wake up from our slumber. Stand bravely in the face of change. This is how we rise together as one human family. We are not separate on this planet. It's where we go one, we go all. Do you see how there really is no choice in this matter? We are one. Choice was an illusion. We now must choose to wake ourselves up. This is the ultimate and only choice we have in this now. So often we want to shy from change rather than embrace the new life evolution brings. When we have worked hard to maintain a comfortable life, this is a lot to take in. It takes bravery to awaken to the truth that we have been lied to on such a mass scale for so long. It may seem a hard concept to break through, but it need only be as hard as we make it. We will all come to moments of awakening when we see the truth. We all have an inevitable moment of awakening. This is good, never bad. None of us are exempt from knowing how this feels. We are all truly in this together. We are going through this together, not against each other. As was inevitable, our planet has completed her long journey through the darkness. We experienced much tragedy, but we did gain much valuable wisdom. Deep down in the core of you, you know all this. You just need to remember and awaken to it. Your body will naturally respond to the light coming through now. The vibration of our planet is rising and we are ascending into 5D heaven. There is so much more to the universe than meets the eye. I say this because there are invisible dimensions all around us, ones that science cannot prove with traditional methods, but they do not exist in 3D matter. Our bodies aren't physically equipped to be immediately aware of these unseen realms with our 3D garment. But what you may want to call angels abound. They are always surrounding us, loving us, protecting us, comforting us. I know it doesn't always feel that way, but we are, were, never, ever alone. Awaken to yourself, but also to the vast universe around you. The immensity of it all. This little life here and the here and now is absolutely not all there is. In the same way Jesus ascended into heaven, so we, along with our Mother Earth, are ascending along with her in our human bodies. This has never been attempted anywhere in the universe before. We are being watched and protected by beings from all over the universe. This is the greatest drama of all time. Normally we must die in our body to be able to ascend, but this time we are ascending in our bodies into heaven. Gaia already exists comfortably in 5D. 
We are being pulled up with her into the light now. She was a loving and patient mother, but could not wait in darkness for us any longer. Our entire planet is ascending as a whole, as one, all of us with her. Unless our souls choose to exit, we are all ascending with her up to heaven, from 3D to 5D, from a dimension of duality to a dimension of oneness. We are rising to the fifth, where realization of our inherent oneness is our new way of life. There are many souls who decided to leave at this time. A number may have decided to exit by means of COVID or other ways. It is not for me to know or judge how, why their souls choose this. There is no judgment, but the fact you are still here now, listening to this, hearing this, means you are one of the strong. You finished the race. You may not realize it, but you are one of the bravest in the universe. You were chosen to be here at this time for this amazing grand finale. So I recommend to sit back and try to enjoy the ride. When we ride a roller coaster, it can seem scary too if we don't learn to sit back and trust the process. But we got this. You got this. Enjoy this sifting of the wheat process we are experiencing and don't get caught up in the duality trap. Where we go one, we go all. Duality was just a game we had to play while we were in the dark. Remember the tool of the dark. Divide and conquer. They go hand in hand. Remember your oneness. This is only about waking up, not necessarily anyone's political agenda. When the light dawns over the horizon every morning, what happens? Your body naturally responds. It wakes up. There is always an element of free will involved, but it is only about choosing oneness over duality now. That's it. There are no more choices. We're all on this roller coaster, whether we have learned to trust and enjoy the ride or let it terrify us. This wild ride too will end and we will settle again, this time comfortably in the light. Light will be our new normal and we will have risen above the duality game of dark. Remember right now we are still trapped in the movie, me included. We haven't completely remembered fully who we are, but we are all waking up little by little, one by one, and it can seem scary but really is a beautiful thing. Change is always scary in the beginning, life taught us that. This is the great awakening. We are waking up after a long 26,000 year sleep in the darkness. We are tilting back toward the light. This light is the central sun. This is how light is returning. This is much bigger than us. It is always much less something we do and much more something we wake up to. We were much more spiritually, technologically advanced in the past, but this knowledge was hidden from us to keep you asleep to your true natures. And remember, this isn't about fighting each other, it's just about waking up. Let the illusion fall away. See with new eyes and hear with new ears. The old has died and the new has risen again. Never forget, everything you need is within you. Remember, Sophia Grace. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh, Original DNA has completed in the ethers. All praises to the Most High. We have attained the seed point of our original DNA and soul blueprint. Everything that isn't our original root structure has been found and removed. Venus is now in Taurus until May 7th, which is supporting us to heal, restore, recover, and birth our original DNA through the divine design of Christ. The root structure is complete. The words and tones of the Most High will be coming through your mouths. Proverbs 18.4 The words of a man's mouth are deep waters. The fountain of wisdom is a bubbling brook. God is presenting himself through us now in the flesh. This is his holy masterpiece. Prepare for changes of the physical body. Your dominant DNA is Christ. Choices to remove yourself from stress and drama are unfolding. The chakra system is giving you feedback through what feels dense and heavy versus what lights you up. Each chakra is desiring removal of energy attachments from external energies in your field. Friends and groups you've once resonated with no longer spark your interest. Listen to your body and utilize your internal GPS. The upcoming Scorpio full moon is amplifying this feedback in your life. Repeated karmic contracts through various lifetimes in the Piscean age have ended. We are being called to physically take action towards the light and away from these contracts. The waters of eternal life are flowing and are now attainable. Revelation 22, 1 through 2. Then he showed me a river of the water of life, clear as crystal, 
coming from the throne of God and of the Lamb in the middle of its street. On either side of the river was the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. The end is here. God has witnessed enough. This brings forth collective healing for our tribe and new beginnings for the Holy Grail. The divine masculine Christ are now neutralizing and healing from the dark mother Jezebel entity from the seed point of her concept in the Garden of Eden. Truth be known, you reap what you sow has commenced. The divine masculine Christ, their children and future generations are supported by our Son of God to move forward and receive their harvest free of the enemy now. We are all free of the spells that created heartbreak. This is completion in the physical to what began in the ethers in December 2020, especially with the Great Conjunction. Continue following your dreams and the light. All praises to the Most High in Jesus Christos' name. Amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Sun in Aries, Sextile Mars and Gemini, Venus enters Taurus. There's a strong desire now to make certain areas of life more fruitful. Relationships and money matters may need attention. Get real about what you want. There's no rush, although the solar connection to Mars today may mean we're more willing to seize the moment if an opportunity for development occurs. Still focus on quality over quantity, simplicity over complexity. Invest in what is real and tangible. Respect yourself enough to ask for what you are worth. Assert your independence. If you have been feeling insecure, some self-comfort can help ease pain and reestablish a sense of connection. Alternatively, using Mars for inspiration, some strength training might help you tap into your inner strength. Afterwards, have a massage, a home-cooked meal, your favorite treats or special time with a significant other. Love and be loved. Value the sweet gifts of Mother Nature. Acknowledge your beauty inside and out. Show your appreciation for all that is good in your life. Indulge in the garden of earthly delight. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 121. Red, self-existing, dragon. Self-existing is the name for the number four, and its key words are define, measure, and form. The fourth day of a wave spell is about taking a closer look at things, paying attention to the details, so read the small print. Get your magnifying glass out and don't let anything slip past your notice. Today is Red Dragon, and it represents nurturing, birth, and being. Dragon days are about taking care of yourself, retreating into a cave to recharge your energy, be kind to each other and allow yourself to be mothered, offer nurturing too. As it is a self-existing day, this suggests that we need to take a closer look at what it is that needs care. Is there something you've neglected lately? A health issue perhaps? The guide today is Red Earth and its keywords are Evolve, Navigation, and Synchronicity. This guide really suits the aspects of the day because naturally birth is evolution. And when emerging from the cave of nurturing, new life begins. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red, Self-Existing Dragon, Kin 121, 14 April 2021, Birthing a New Form, 14 4 2021 equal 14 4 4 1 equal 5 4 5 equal 5 9 equal 14 equal 5. 14. Media, Publicity, Recognition. 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 1. Leader, Original, New Beginnings. 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity. 5. Change, Transformation, Freedom, Liberation. Kin 121 equal 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 144. DNA Coding. Perfectly aligns with creating our new angelic DNA templates for ourselves and our planet. A powerful day of new beginnings, transformation, and birthing new structures. Today is the first day we enter the central column of the Zolkin, and we are threading the eye of the needle, so to speak. In ten days' time, at the completion of the White Mirror Wave Spell, we arrive at Hunab Ku Galactic Center and are at zero point, source. 
on 23 to 24 April 2021. Generally, this period of time denotes a calmness and a time of balance during the next 20 days, the calm before the storm starts all over again. Day four in the white mare wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today we are defining order and truth as our response to the evolving patterns and cycles reflected in our everyday life in order to build a new foundation for our world. Tone of creation, self-existing, tone four in the mental realm. Action measures, power defines, essence forms. Self-existing number four takes form and we have ourselves a square shape. Self-existing, measuring, and defining, very intelligent, fascinated by self. We now have built a sturdy platform upon which further growth takes place. Dispense with the rest and build your new solid foundations on the basis of natural harmony, truth, and divine nurturance, giving form to your new life and our new world. Through connecting with the innocence of your pure, divine child, you can connect with the magical, spontaneous power of creation, responding to your spontaneous heart's desires, which leads you to the best future that you are currently birthing. So precious hearts, a day of reflection and synchronicity, pointing the way in order to birth a lovely new world filled with love and nurturance. Today's question is, in which direction are the signs guiding me to redefine and birth my new life and our new utopian world? Divine blessings for the formation of a wonderful new foundation of joy and bliss. And la kek a la kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 121, Red, Self-Existing Dragon. The mantra, the code for today is, I define in order to nurture, measuring being, I seal the input of birth. With the self-existing tone of form, I am guided by the power of navigation. And on this powerful day of navigations and transformations and transmutation, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below the video on the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. And now I'd like to take the time to thank all of you that are supporting our work and mission. We rely on our pledges on Patreon and donations for our daily living expenses and to be able to continue our work and to build and grow and expand on our mission here of Heros Gamos, manifesting heaven on earth through divine union and divine activations. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Kaylin Ryan, for your pledge and donation and your support on Patreon. I'd also like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Sarita Forslund, for your pledge and support on Patreon. Thank you, Angels of the Light. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a monthly pledge, starting at $5 a month, whatever you can afford, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. I'd like to now also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Jennifer Arney, for your donation today. Much appreciated, Divine Sisters and our angelic team of light. 144 coming in. If you'd like to make a one-time donation or purchase one of our products of guided meditation or practice, you can do so at eaglelovecondor.com. We are grateful and appreciate every one of you that are helping us to be able to do this work and do these daily transmissions and to complete our mission of the Heros Gamos, the eagle fly with the condor. This is divine union of unconditional love, of eternal light and eternal life. Now I'd like to thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's art business on Etsy. She added several new goddess totems. You can purchase her handmade works of art encoded with divine feminine goddess energy, divine union, and divine abundance at lunagoddessart.com. Now we have a couple powerful transmissions to end today's work. 
one starting with our brothers and sisters from the Pleiades, Pleiades 1 messages, April 14, 2021, P1 calling Terrans for origins, recognition, attention for calls in PVSC-SDE. Elevated directions continue to be inspired, astral disputes and closures, superior forces intervene in necessary field, specific pruning continues, selfishness goes into dissolving, purification waves are activated, conflicts continue to be harmonized and healed, dynamism continues to expand, projectors for non++++ aimed and in Reverberation 59% non regressive. Aum Shiram plus 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 12 plus 144 active and reverberating. Active efficiency 64% non regressive. Attention plastic transmitters unique projector of unification and support 70% non regressive. Attention plastic transmitters unique projector of unification and reverberation 68% non regressive. Sacred professors spread appropriate redirects and progress for specific collection. Temporarily end of transmission Pleiades 1 potentiating forces of divine technologies from disclosurenews.it. And now a powerful divine decree from the order of the star. I am statements drawn from the seven sacred flames. I am embracing the state of consciousness called heaven. I am experiencing life as gracious, loving, abundant, and without limitation. I am in realization of my own Christhood. I am standing triumphant, magnificent, and free in mastery of my own human and spiritual creation. I am living for love to expand the borders of God's kingdom, fulfilling the destiny of my own life, and making the universe a sweeter, more magnificent, and glorious place. I am a way-shower to the children of earth. I am the power and presence of light and love, and the power of the violet flame is within me to heal all around me. So be it. And with that, 444 coming in, we thank you for joining us today, and thank you for joining us on this great mission of this massive ascension process. This is the exodus for all living beings of light, all pure conscious beings, all sentient beings of pure light, pure consciousness of Pachamama, Mother Gaia, Terra Nova Gaia, our starship for the new federation of light, and know that the Great Spirit wants you to prosper and thrive because you are worthy. So a most powerful mantra that you can tell yourself is I am enough, I am worthy, and I am one with divine source. Keep shining your light brightly into the night, beloved angels of the new earth. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.